What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play with CJ. So we're focusing on the Connecticut uh, Girls High School State Championship game, ending with co-champions. And this similar situation, not to the letter of the law, but a similar set of circumstances popped up in last year's, I believe it was Ohio's uh, Boys State Championship game, where, uh, you know, the... Oh, yeah, it was their co-champions after five overtimes. This is a little bit different. Um, the... I think sexism in hockey is apparent here, but I think it's also just stupid foolishness. And um, they, they've tied up to one overtime. And rather than, you know, play two overtimes, play continuous overtime, which was a tiebreaker. It's a state championship game. Somebody's going to lose. Um, the rink manager had them come off the ice, so the, the boys can play their state championship game. And, I mean, I think when you have a hockey tournament, like that said, the winner take all. You have to budget the fact that overtime could and likely will happen with with two of the best teams in the state every year, you know, coming together and you know at the, at the different levels. And you know, I think to be honest with you, the fact that it came down to this is, you know, I, I think it has less to do with sexism and more to do with stupidity. Um, I mean, I'm I'm not saying, you know, what if it was a boys' game they would have gone out and played more overtime. I don't know. You know, it was East Catholic and um, it was. Simsbury and ETB, which is East Catholic, Clansonbury, and South Windsor, the joint team. Um, you know, and, and I think having those two squads, you know, the girls on the team, like, I, you'd rather lose than not have a winner. I mean, you know, I was always brought up in the mindset that a tie is the same as a loss. You know, and that's in a regular season game, much less, you know, in the playoffs and, you know, or, or a championship game. You know, your co champions, what's that? You know, honestly, if there was a GoFundMe to he get by Einstein and play the state championship game, Championship game, I'd make a donation to that. I'd make a nice donation because these kids deserve the opportunity to be able to play for a championship. And, you know, you have to understand, we're talking about high school kids here. The lessons you learn as a high school athlete follow you the rest of your life. You're going to lose games. You're going you're gonna to get some victories, but there are going to be a lot of losses. Those help prepare you for the real world. There isn't, you know, not everyone gets a cookie in the real world. And, you know, I think these, these girls need, need to learn that. I mean, I think they're handling it more fast than anyone else. But, you know, I'm a, I'm a huge proponent of high school sports you know, as a learning, um, you know, situation for, as a teaching experience for, for students and, you know, helps mold productive adults. I mean, you know, very few high school athletes want to play any of college sports, but, you know, those that, that do, you know, do great things and those that don't, you know, like myself, uh, you know, learn the lessons that, you know, were, that come from being out there and playing and um, apply them to our daily lives. So I think there's a huge spectrum of discussion you can have on this, but it's it's absolutely freaking ridiculous. I, I don't know how you can justify it. You know, I think the the um, the rank manager should be fired, and I think you know this game should be replaced in its entirety. I mean, these these kids have worked too freaking hard to get to this point to be able to play for a state championship. All right, every, everyone's champions now. What's that about? So we'll see what happens. Anyway, that's all I got. Sort of the of the power play with CJ on the Connecticut state championship game being. Uh, World Co-Champions. Stay tuned for episodes for the season and beyond. Later, guys.